Hey guys, it's Jeff here from Digital Grog. Uh, I'm going to take you on a tour today to my website. I've just published a new post. So we're going to be talking about web hosting, starting a website and hosting plans for Australia. But you could use this um, WordPress hosting plans pretty much in any country. So let's go through a tour. Let me first um, just go to the topic. That's the best web hosting for 2017. So we are in a new year. It's uh, February. And um, this is a list of some of the host web hosting companies that I prefer. Um, starting with Bluehost, GoDaddy, HostGator, and VP Engine. VP Engine is a premium hosting company and they are pretty much built a custom hosting solution for for wordpress websites and you could scale a website from from a small website to a large website and still keep on using vpengine.com bluehost godaddy hostgator and the other option is um, uh, pretty much you could um, use it for a starting website and you could grow from there but saying that you could use it sort of you know for a starting website you can up, upgrade to a dedicated hosting plan further on and there's many other options but um, these three are my preference for you know as as a hosting company as, as such what are these suitable for um these hosting companies that i've listed here on my website digital digital grog um, they're all suitable for many things and that's um, if you're starting a business website if you're just creating a blog or it can also be used for website building if you are in the UK US Australia India many more countries Canada yeah it can it can be used pretty much in any way because uh, basically a website when you put it online it's available to people all over the world so you'll be getting traffic from pretty much you know the whole world so it doesn't really matter so much uh, as to where you um, host your uh, website or blog unless you're getting only traffic from your own country then it makes sense to obviously have only an Australian host or, a, or only a Canadian host so let's go on to my website that's digital grog on my website over there you can see the um, latest offer from bluehost over there it's 395 a month which is a pretty good deal i've also got a banner for godaddy they, they are pretty good at selling domains really cheap domains there's a 99 cent um, offer right now which you can see over there um, their hosting deals sometimes come as low as one dollar a month as well so that's a good really good cheap plan to get started so this is the um, post new blog post that I'm talking about that I just um, posted a little while ago you can um, click over here to receive notifications from my website every time I post something new so as you can see that's the banner if you're starting a WordPress website WordPress is a free software but um, most of the hosting companies that I've listed over here, they provide um, custom managed um, installation service and they make use of this free software to provide you a managed solution as such so that you do not, have, do not really have to worry about updates and everything else and that's the best way to go really with this free software but you do have to pay for a hosting solution as such which most of these hosting companies um, charge you for. Um, so uh, as you can see there's a top website hosting for 2017 um, not much has really changed from 2016 um, there's no breakthrough sort of new providers as such um, in the hosting field so it's, they are the same except you know they keep keep on coming up with new deals and stuff so um, Bluehost that's as I said the top listed one over there which I recommend and the starter plan is the one I recommend for a, for a newbie starting a, a, you know a website or a blog or an affiliate uh, sort of website or a small business website. Hostgator 
I've been with them for uh, for many years as well. I had no problems with them as well. Um, Host Monster is another one I use. I have a lot of websites and GoDaddy, I've been using it right from the start. They have some amazing plans for people just starting out building a website or a blog or an affiliate website. Um, I've got some others listed here as well. The Web Hosting Hub, iPage, DreamHost, Yahoo Small Business, Digital Pacific, which is an um, Australian one. Um, Crucial, which is an Australian hosting company as well. There's this host Papa and VP Engine, which I talked about before. They give you a free SSL certificate, but their plans are a little bit more pricier just because they have a sort of premium plan catered to specific FIFA WordPress and um, it is a premium sort of service um, where they really take care of their site speeds and everything like that. Bluehost, why I prefer for um, to recommend if you're starting a new website is because um, they always offer a free domain name and um, they got the one click install as well a lot of these um, other new ones now also have it GoDaddy has always had their custom installation one as well um, installation sort of uh, software which makes it pretty easy to start up a website and site 10 to 15 minutes so yeah that's always good always look out for that one click install and most of these plans over here that we have um, in our list uh, 2017 list has a pretty good uh, installation for wordpress just click and install yeah um, i covered what should i choose i mean the first question that people in australia ask is um should I choose an Australian or a US hosting? I haven't really seen the need to um, actually have a you know, specifically Australian based hosting provider and that's just because um, it's my traffic is pretty much from all over the world and um, you know there is a major part of Australia that sort of looks at my blog but then I get a lot of traffic from the US, a lot of traffic from Canada, quite a, quite a bit of traffic from India. So yeah, it really doesn't make a difference to me. Besides that, the US web hosts are always cheaper. Um, what plan is good for me? I would always suggest the starter plans. They are anyway from um, $1.95 to $4.95. And that's a good price range for um, for a starting plan for starting a website, WordPress website. Um, CDN services, if you're starting with one of these website starting plans and you want a little bit more speed and um, you know um, you know a little bit more push in your website, like you want it really loading fast and uh, that kind of thing, then I would suggest the CDN is the cheaper option uh, to get once you get that kind of traffic. But normally um, with traffic, uh, as long as you're doing up to um, say even 2,000 to 3,000 you know sort of hits a day you should be fine with these um, cheap web hosting plans uh, once you sort of go over the 2,000 to 3,000 plus sort of thing then you might want to sort of consider going to a VPS hosting you know sort of um, plan or a dedicated hosting or you know managed optimized hosting kind of plan for WordPress and most of these uh, providers, Bluehost, HostGator, GoDaddy, have different plans, so you could just upgrade anyway. But uh, CDN, if you don't want to sort of pay that higher price, then CDN, which starts from anywhere from three dollars to four dollars a month extra, is probably the next best option before considering the higher dedicated hosting packages and VPS hosting, which could go anyway from you know twenty bucks to sixty bucks a month which is pretty pricey sometimes if you're not getting that kind of traffic. As I said, one click install for WordPress. Most of these providers do have that. Bluehost and GoDaddy definitely have it. You can have your WordPress install, you know, installed in a couple of clicks in about 10 minutes, you know, at the max, I would say 20 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, that's pretty easy really with that one click install. Um, a little bit about cPanel. WordPress as a website builder, CNN, Sony TV, BBC America, they all use WordPress. 
and it's a pretty um, robust software as such to use is WordPress free to use I think I already covered that um, yes it is free to use but uh, the hosting companies charge you for the added sort of uh, managed solutions that they provide so that's why you're paying for the hosting really not for the WordPress software um, that's my list for 2017 um, as I said this list of uh, web hosting companies pretty much are tried and tested by me and um, I have had no problems I have most of these as my hosting providers for my websites as well as a few friends websites who I manage so um, if you're looking to start a new um, blog a personal blog a hobby blog or a business blog you know this is this is the uh, companies that you can choose for your hosting solution or if you're starting a business website or just starting an affiliate website or just a website to sort of you know make some money uh, blogging about something then this is the way to go um, once you click on these um, on on the logo over here any of these it will take you to the Bluehost web page or the HostGator web page and it'll take you to the latest deal available on their website and then you can sign up from there um, you will need a credit card uh, for most of these uh, plans to sign up uh, some of them also accept PayPal but mostly it will be credit card um, uh, once you sign up it's pretty straightforward you know you sign up provide your details a domain name and the email it back to you um, that you have uh, this is your account and this is your login details you need to remember your login details that you provide them and you can pretty much go there and get started with a blog in you know 20 minutes um, so that's it for me now just giving an overview of my this new post uh, I've named it the best rated web hosting for Australia comparison prize and reviews just because I've given you a little bit detail on the pricing for it um, and reviews as such um, I haven't gone really into detail over here but as I said I recommend most of these providers anyway and I've got a few couple of other posts on my website as well that goes into a little bit more detail than this one but this is just a listing for you for 2017 so welcome to 2017 and hope you have a good year and um, do leave me a comment under this post if you do have any questions in relation to any of these um, hosting plans or any of these providers and I'll be happy to get back to you. Uh, totally do.